Edna's grandfather, Marshall Strickland. That's the same picture I saw in Edna's apartment, way back in the future. This hat doesn't frame her face very well. An old saloon sign. Cool. Too bad it's all burnt. Nice fit. Here's something that'll make you remember. Remember what? I don't like to remember. Who are you? What are you doing in my yard, you hooligan? No, Edna. No yard. What? This is Emmett speaking. It's October 13th, 1931. Yes. And something's about to happen. Oh yes, something big. But what? Better not talk to her directly. It'll break the spell. Help me out here, Danny. Don't talk to him. I won't have you spreading stories about me. Help me figure something out. Yes? I'm not sure what she's searching for. Did Detective Parker do something to Edna at the expo? Yeah, he tried to arrest her. That must be it. Can you think of a way to prompt her memory? I'll figure something out. I'm sure you will. A blacksmith sign. I wonder if it's from Doc's old shop. I hate to see it like this. I'm guessing this mop doesn't get much use. Mary Pickford. Now where would she pick up a fake name like that? Maybe this will take you back. Back where? I don't want to go back. Stay in the moment, Edna. Please, Marty. Don't interrupt the trance. You know, I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing anything about them. No! Turn it off, you imbecile! If Parker hears that, he'll... Officer, I can explain. It was a trick. I was framed. Oh, he's after me! Ha! He'll never catch me in this souped-up car of the future! Curses! I can't shake him! Well... No use in holding back now. Let's see what this baby can do. And here it comes. Yes? Here what comes? I, uh, I, I don't know. Something really unexpected is supposed to happen right about now, but I'm not sure what. Well, come to think of it, how can I be expecting something unexpected? At, oh, what's going on? Quick, Marty. We've got to find a way to push the story along before she snaps out of her reverie. Here they come! The lights! By being transported! Where? Back! Back! 
to the past. What do you see? Hill Valley. But it's all different. It's so small and primitive. Heavens! Can it be? It is! Is what? Grandfather! Big as life! Marshal James Strickland came to Hill Valley in 1869, shot by... I know, Doc. We met him in 1885. Remember? No! I must be mistaken. Grandfather didn't look like that. That man is an imposter! I'm not even sure it is a man! This is all very confusing. Where am I? Why am I thinking about the past? Get off my lawn, you kids! Better find a way to bring back Marshal Strickland, quick! We've got to bring this story to a climax! Help me figure something out. Yes? How am I supposed to bring back Marshal Strickland? She thought the cactus was him for a few seconds, didn't she? She's not that picky. Edna used the DeLorean to jump into the past. I wonder why she never jumped out again. Put yourself in her shoes. Unexpectedly propelled into the past by an unreliable time machine. Would you risk another trip? I might. Father, how well you look. How well everything looks. How does everything look? Tell me. It's a bit rustic to be sure, but all the buildings are so sturdy and well kept. And the young people of Hill Valley, they're so virtuous and upright. So unlike the degenerate specimens from the 20th century. And I know the reason why. Why? why? They haven't yet fallen prey to the vices of booze and debauchery. They are still in a state of innocence. I think I could learn to like living here. <gasps> but who's this? Who? This big lout swaggering up the street. Lips curled in an insolent sneer. He's a newcomer to Hill Valley. Uh, Beauregard. Beauregard... Tannen. Yes! Good guess. Look at him. Acting like a big shot. Throwing his money around. Stolen money, no doubt. Why can't they see through him? The two-bit phony! And now his plan becomes clear. He's bought a plot of land in town. He's going to put up a... A... A what? I don't know. It's something I don't like. Something evil. This is the key to our mystery. We've got to get her memory back in the groove. Talk about a watering hole. A saloon? In Hill Valley? Oh, he can't do that! Grandpa, you can't let him do it! You can't let that snake ruin paradise! If they're all too blind to stop him, I'll just have to take the law into my own hands. I'll make sure this sinful establishment never opens its doors. I'll... I don't know what I'll do, but I'll do something. Something very... conclusive. I wonder what's cooking. Young man, you've just given me an idea. First, we'll need some kerosene. Apply it liberally to the building site. No sense in being parsimonious. And now, watch.
this is beautiful. The devil's handiwork consumed by the fires of righteousness. <laughs> burn, you sucker, burn! She was never this passionate when we were dating. Oh. What is it, Edna? Is it the fire? Turn away! Don't look! It's not staying in the saloon, is it? It's spreading to the other buildings in the valley. My intentions were pure. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. But it did happen like this. And you've been repressing it all these years because you can't stand to admit that you're... A hooligan. I'm a hooligan. <laughs> but I lay it all too thick. Here's the story. Black and white and red all over. Huh. Hill Valley destroyed my fire. Started approximately 2 a.m. July 17th, 1876. Of course, I'm not the real criminal in this story. Am I, Mr. Sagan? You set me up for a fall. You and Schmernoff. You made me steal your infernal car. You made me burn down Hill Valley. And now, by the powers invested in me by the town of Hill Valley, I hereby sentence you two criminals to... Hey. You! How much have you heard? Enough for a month's worth of headlines in a Hayesville Herald. Two months' worth if you shoot those fellas. I could shoot you too, you know. But you won't, because that would be against the law. And you never break the law, right? This is your cue to skedaddle. Right. Much obliged. There's Beauregard Tannen's half-finished saloon. Sometime during the next hour, Edna's going to light it on fire and accidentally burn down Hill Valley. I wonder where her DeLorean is. We'll find it later. Right now, we've got to stop that fire. I'll go around back. You go through the front. Got it. I think I liked it better on the outhouse door. I'd better not get too close. <coughs> I'd better not get too close. <coughs> I'd better not get too close. Better not get too close. Nah, I don't think so. Maybe not. Not sure what that'll do. <laughs> I'd better not get too close. Just me. Mr. Sagan, what are you doing here? I was gonna ask you the same question, Miss Pickford. Isn't it obvious? I'm putting an end to your den of iniquity before it starts. I don't think so, Mary. I don't like shooting women, but no one comes between Beauregard B. Tannen and his livelihood. Tannen, stop! If you shoot her, she'll drop the torch, and this whole place will burn up. Edna, stop! If you drop that torch, he'll shoot us! Looks like we're at something of a standoff here, Mr. Tannen. I don't see a way out, unless somebody manages to disarm both of you at the same time. How the hell am I supposed to do that? 
I gotta find some way to snuff out Edna's torch without getting her and Doc killed. Chandelier's right over their heads. That's gotta be useful somehow. Dolores Miskin? Cripes, it's no wonder the town went up. I can smell the kerosene from here. That must be where Edna got the kerosene. If I had a gun, I could probably outdraw Tannen, but I don't. Not sure what that'll do. Not sure what that'll do. Mary Pickford? Not sure what that'll do. Not sure what that'll do. Hang in there, Doc. Maybe I could jump him. Was that a mouse? What's the matter, Miss Pickford? Scared of a little mouse? No, but you should be scared. Mice carry diseases. It's a fact. Look it up. Man, this thing is not light. A hundred years from now, he It's right over his head, but I can't knock him out while Edna's still holding that torch. Ugh. Not sure what that'll do. Why are you dressed like that? I wasn't planning. <clears throat> I can't reach it, and even if I could knock it down, Edna be free to torch the place. Are you here to haul me back to 1931 for my supposed crimes, or is there some sort of time court for that kind of thing? Time court? Not sure what that'll do. Not quite. Man, this thing is not light. Pickle juice. That ought to be handy for putting out torches. It's too heavy to lift. There's gotta be something I can use. I wonder what's in these. Oh, stop quiet! God. What the hell? 
Oh, cow crap. There goes all my pickled pig's feet. Pickle juice. That ought to be handy for putting out torches. It's too heavy to lift. Why are you so hellfire determined to meddle in my affairs, woman? You be